So it looks like the bolstering of Kinel has deterred the Beastmen from attacking. So it's safe for now. Brion over here is open for occupation. So I think I may get someone to go and do that. Because that is a port settlement. So there's money to be made and amber to be made. And I fear that Musil on here will come down and take it. And thus will grow their empire and may become a problem for me. So if I can take it, it stops them from taking it. I also have recruited myself a Waystalker for all my assassination needs. Because I will probably inevitably need one. I think I might send a Ryan over to Brion in a minute. Okay, I wanted to let's see if I can get that trade agreement with the Empire yet. See if they like me enough. We're neutral and improving. We should go into friendly on the next turn. Be at peace. For that Moderate chance. We'll give it a go. It's worth a little bit of cash to me. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got a trade agreement with the Empire. That's going to help improve our relations with them. As well as just give us a bit of money. And bring us ever closer to that military alliance with them. Which will give us a lot of amber. Trying to reduce all the corruption up north as much as possible now. That's where I'm putting most of my skill points for everyone up there. Just seems to make the most sense. Let's see what transpires on this here turn. Midland. What do you require, lads? Non-aggression pact. I can get behind that. Nordland. Do you want a non-aggression pact? You do. Everyone loves me now. Now that me and the Empire are buddies. All the Empire's buddies want to be my buddies. All these new buddies. What is an elf to do? Magic, that's cool. Okay. So we press our attack on the north. Head towards Ice Drake Fjord. With Durthu. And of course, Pilgrim Tree Beard. Who we're going to bring on land now. We're going to have to be careful with them because we don't want to take that attrition too much. We might be able to attack on this turn, actually. Mm, not quite. That's okay. We shall wait till the next turn. Keep having a look around. Still no sign of any armies up here at all. There's a raised settlement there, which suggests that they may all be over there. So I have to be careful from that angle, from the south. I have to keep an eye on the south. Because otherwise I may get suddenly jumped by many a scaling and barg army. Moving Thilvacus in from the west towards Björling's Gathering. He can go and take that. Actually, he's going to need some help taking that. So I'll probably send Dirthu over to help him with that. And our conquest shall continue. We take a little bit of attrition on this turn, but that's okay. He can recover on the next one while he waits for Dirthu. Jolly good. So, the invasion of the north is well underway. We've taken a couple of places. No resistance so far. I was kind of hoping there would be a few armies. We could have a few nice battles. But nothing yet. Maybe they'll come later. But for now, we'll press on the scaling. They've got one, two, three, four, seven places left. And once we get rid of them, we'll be on to the Varg. Ice Drake Fjord will soon be ours. I think we'll attack with Durthu. So let's move Vilgen up. Oh, he's going to take some serious attrition. That's alright, we can put him in the town afterwards, so he should be okay. Shouldn't lose too much. Move him up, and then Durthu can do the stabbing. They've got a fairly substantial garrison there, but... Nothing we can't handle, of course. Six places remain for the scaling. We've got a sweet sword. In the Ice Drake Fjord. Okay, let's get uh, Durthu out of the town. And we'll put Vilgen in there. That saves him from the attrition. Draw a good. Okay, and then... Oh, he can't even... We'll move him up towards Björling's Gathering now. So we can go and get rid of that as quick as possible. And then we'll move up the middle here. And with any luck, Vilgen can go and take Longship Graveyard. And we shall take another province. Oh, we haven't even taken one province yet. We've still got to take Björling's Gathering. Getting provinces is the key here. Because the Asrai lookouts give plus six public order. Once you get all of them in a province, it pretty much just handles itself. So we won't have to worry after that. Let's encamp Thilvacus to protect him from attrition. Seemingly nobody in the northeastern part of this area. And nobody else around. Nobody's come back to put up a fight yet. Now, let's get old Durthu moving towards Björnling's Gathering. I'm not sure which way is going to be quicker. Using the world routes. I can't even see the edges of where it goes to. Force March goes all the way up there. That looks like the best bet. Yep, can't see world routes. Screw it. We'll just march it. So next turn, they should be able to take that. No problem. 
Bilgin can start to think about Longship Graveyard when he's maybe a little bit more replenished. Back home in Athol Loren, things are still quiet. Brayhood's still around, but not bothering us. I'm sending Orion off towards Brion. You can see him on the left there. He's going off that way. I'm still just trying to control the public order. That's pretty much all that's going down, down south. No action through that turn. Looks like, oh no, he's not quite in range. Nope. Uh, we may as well just force march him up. Get him as close as possible, and we shall take that on the next turn. There's no Musalon around, it seems, so it should be ours for the taking. Kingsglade is struggling. I'm going to put Catra there, and for some reason I can't deploy him. Why can I not do that? Okay, for some reason you can't deploy. That's annoying. But that's okay, we can do that on the next turn, hopefully. Public order everywhere else is okay. The place is struggling. Once we get Brion, though. Oh, it's part of Castle Carcassonne. Okay, so we can get that province. That would give us another province we can improve the public order on. Should be all good in Zahud. And the more provinces we can take, the better off we'll be. The better our public order will be everywhere. We won't really have to worry about anything. Canel's other place is Paravant, which is owned by the Empire. So we're not going to be taking that anytime soon. So we can't do it with Canel, unfortunately. We'll just have to keep an eye on it and try to keep it happy as possible. Back to the north. Oh, let's take Bjornling's Gathering, shall we? Durthu. Time to attack. Although we need Dilvacus in range first. That was the whole idea of him waiting around. I go for. Uh, sure, that'll do. Is that all it was? See, I feel like Thilvicus may have been able to beat that by himself, but I'm not sure. It didn't seem worth the risk. Either way, we have occupied Bjornling's Gathering, which means we have the province. And our expansion through the north grows ever stronger. Hostiles located on the shores of Nordland. And it looks like the people of Nordland may be under siege from the scaling of Varg. There's a Varg army just above that place that looks like it's being besieged. Nordland's only got one place left. We're actually quite good friends with Nordland because of the Empire. So I'm actually going to try and make a bid to save them. How very un-Elvish of me I know. Come. But I do want military access from them, which they are not giving me it seems. Give them a little bit of dosh. Still, they don't want it. Okay, cool. Just die then, guys. Uh, we'll go over and we'll see... I want to see who's over there, to be honest. I want to see what armies we're looking at. There's one small army there. Not actually sure who I should send. Durthu, maybe? With all his treekin. Vilgin, with a million dryads. Or Thilvacus, he's a bit far away. Probably Vilgin's the best bet. He's got the most offensive power. He's got the Wildwood Rangers in there, who I recruited. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but I did recruit some Wildwood Rangers. Ooh... They are heavily besieged by the Varg. They don't have a great big garrison. Horse marauders, mostly. Surfer Ek leads the other army. We shall endeavour to save Nordland from their untimely death. Vilgins floated his way across that little channel there. There's a small scaling army here as well. Given that there's a lot of horse marauders, Vilgin doesn't really have a lot that can deal with that. He doesn't have any skirmishers to shoot them down with, and no cavalry to chase them down with. This is why you're supposed to stick with Dilvacus, Vilgin. Okay, we'll see what happens with that next turn. I think we're going to start to move Dilvacus and Durthu over towards the northeast to continue our rampage. So I'm building Orion an army up here because you can see in the north there, above Karak Norn, there is a Chaos army. So I'm going to have to go and deal with that. Everyone else is just dealing with the public order. We've got Brion now. So we've completed that place. Canel's public order is still a little bit of a problem. But public order everywhere else. See over here, it's beautiful. Plus nine, awesome. God bless those Asurai Towers. Now, back to the north. It looks like Vilgin must act to try and save Nordland because that reinforcing army is now helping with the siege. So Nordland have basically no chance. Vilgin needs to step in. But I am going to need... See, if I attack them without being any kind of ally with Nordland, then Nordland won't help me fight them. And I'm not going to be able to win without Nordland, I don't think. I don't think my army's big enough. 
Come then. Only Ooh, they might take a defensive alliance. Can judge it. Oh, God. Come on, guys. Realize I'm trying to save you here. Take the defensive alliance, and then we can all just not die. No. Oh, dear. Okay, we'll have a go at them anyway. Screw it. We'll see if we're maybe capable of taking them out. Mm, no. Without any skirmishers, I have pretty much no hope against that. Gonna need some help, I'm pretty sure. I'll see if I can try for that defensive alliance again on the next turn, maybe. We'll have to see what they do. Scaling armies over here. I could take this place. It is a port settlement, so money and amber, but it's probably a bit too separated from the rest of my stuff in the north. Um, really not sure what to do about this. I think I'll move away a little bit, and then with any luck, maybe one of the armies will attack me. And that will draw them away from Nordland. Perhaps. If Nordland would just take the frickin' alliance, this would be fine. I'd probably be able to beat them with their help. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're going to move up on this place. Kralingut. The two is in range. Yoink! Thanks, scaling. That's one less place again for the scaling. We further reduce their powers. I would think they would have more armies with all the places they have. you think they'd have a good amount of income. No one's really attacking them so they don't need to spend their money. They could have two, three, maybe four armies. Maybe they do. Maybe they're all just hidden away. Oh, the chaos are here. Ah, oh, crap. They've taken correct Nord. They had no hope. Decisive defeat. Oh dear, they've arrived. That area was completely full of chaos corruption as well. Jesus. Yep, settlement raised. Looks like we might have to take on the chaos a little bit earlier than I was hoping for. God damn it. Send Hethgor off to explore a bit more. And we can continue our push through the northeast regions. It's actually a Varg place up here as well, and a scaling one next to each other. Mountains of Nagalfari. Doesn't have much of a garrison, so that place should be takeable by one army. I'm not actually sure how far I'm going to push along the north, and how much of it I'm going to take. I think wiping out the scaling in the Varg is probably a good move. The scaling will be done pretty soon, I think. But I'm not sure how far the Varg spans across the north. We'll have to have a look. Back to Nordland. We're still in the same predicament. Nordland are doomed, and we can't really help them until they agree to join with us against the common foe. So we shall try again and see if they want our help. We are friendly with them now. Hey, there we go. Defensive Alliance and Military Alliance is green. We'll get a little bit of amber from the Military Alliance as well. Only the one, of course. So we shall do that. Hopefully now we can attack the Varg and the Nordland folk will help us. Let's find out. Or oh, apparently not. Why have they not done it? It's because I didn't attack the one that's doing the siege. If I attack the other one, it should work. There we go. Nordland is at my side. And we have a very great chance of defeating them. So we're going to do it. But well, we're going to fight it. Because I'm, oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. There's no many skirmishes, but what the hell? We'll try it. We haven't had a battle for a long time, so... I figure we'll try this one. See what we can do. Going to have to try and set a lot of kind of weird... Dryad traps, I think. And hope that Nordland have some skirmishes. Because <laughs> I sure as hell don't. So one of their armies is a reinforcing army. Like Nordland is for us. So if we can take one out before the other arrives to the battle. I think that's going to be our best bet. Because trying to deal with a million horses. Is not going to be easy without any skirmishes. Oh, the reinforcing army is actually coming in behind me. Oh, that's good. Okay, we could maybe... Yeah, let's go for what I just said about taking one out before the other. I could maybe trap them in here. And do like some cheeky box around where they'll come in. Because with all these spears, I'll be able to close in on them. And just absolutely crush them, maybe. Something like that. And then they'll just walk straight into my army. I can rush them down so all the horses can't run away. And then we should just be able to pin them down and take them down. Yes, that sounds like a plan that might work. Might work. Don't know, they might just all run through us and it'll be useless, but 
I think it's going to be our best bet. Because Lord knows I'm not going to outrun horses. My allies are coming in from the right as well. And hopefully they'll mostly be able to deal with this one unit of horsemen. Where's the rest? They're probably hidden over there somewhere. Okay, let's begin. And here we go. Let's move in. Where are they going to come in? They're all straight in there. There's a chariot. You've got to watch out for that. Got to try and tie up the chariots because they could be a pain in the ass. Oh, crap. We missed one. Okay, let's close this in. Close the box. Here we go. We've got warhounds there. We need to tie them up nice and quick. Try to get rid of all this stuff as quick as possible. Cool. Good. I think we've got it all tied up. Those spearmen are doing alright. Some of them probably could escape if they tried hard enough, but they don't seem to be trying to. A little spell in here as well. Why not? Okay. The other army is approaching. But so is good old Nordland. In all their blue and yellow glory. They do have some skirmishers, thankfully. That's going to help with the other army. This wonder. Well, they do have some trolls in there, I didn't realise. They do actually have a couple of good units. Chariots escaped. Shit. Gonna have to try and tie that back up. That will run amok all over the place otherwise. Oh, they're routing all off the edge of the map. That's perfect. Chariot's getting a charge in on my spearman. Ouch. So this reinforcing army should be completely gone in a matter of less than a minute, probably. We're gonna prepare for the other army. So what I'm gonna try and do is spread my units out really, really wide and try to circle round with some of them because the skirmish mechanic I can help make them skirmish into my other units and kind of sandwich them in between. Like I'll make them skirmish one way and then they'll start running that one way but then they'll be my other unit there. Hopefully that makes some sort of sense. But I know what I mean. I know what I'm trying to do. We'll see how it goes. It should be fine. Well, that tactic hasn't really worked very well but we have done enough to make them route. They're all too fast, pretty much. Wasn't able to really get hold of any of them properly but... It's all good, we scared them off. That'll have to do. And with that, we have saved Nordland from their imminent doom. So, you know, nice one, Durthu. Or Vilgin, actually. Vilgin did the saving. Kill the captives. And that keeps Nordland safe for now. And we can chase off these other two armies. If I can kill them off, that would be awesome. See if we're close enough. Not quite, maybe. Hmm. Let's have a go. Hey, we can get them. Goodbye, Knut. Knut Fjordbreaker. Knut, Knut. Did you say it? I don't know. Either way, Nordland's pretty much safe now. I don't think that other little army's going to be able to take him down. So we are very friendly with them. That's awesome. Good. So hopefully they can start to expand a bit now. And they can push out and take a few places around them that have been raised. And then they'll get more amber, which means we'll get more amber. I don't know why we're in proper farmer then. I am from the southwest of England, where the farmers come from, so you know. Anyway. <clears throat> so with that problem resolved, what do we do now? Let's check if we can... Because uh, we're best buddies with all these empire-type folk, maybe we can we can maybe get defensive alliance and military access. Let's try for a defensive alliance. Hey, awesome. That's halfway there. Next stop will be a military alliance, which means lots and lots and lots of amber. 16 amber at the moment. Unless they take any more things, hopefully they do. Good. This province is coming up nicely with all the public order. So the northern campaign is going pretty well, and we managed to save Nordland. The Chaos Army of Hesus is upon us. I've sent Orion over to come and deal with this threat. He's got an okay army, it's not amazing, but... It'll have to do for now. I'm going to take Chaos Corruption stood here, but I could retake Carrick Norn, actually. I do get two amber from that place. Screw it, why not? Could always use more amber. Oh, that's eaten half of my army. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, dear. You fucked it there, Zogovich. You twonk. Okay, it'll be fine. They shouldn't attack us, probably. But we can replenish a bit. And all should be well. Catch her up. Kill that mother fricker. Hey, well done. Actually managed to get a successful assassination for a change. So other than the chaos around here, I think all is well. 
Public order still not great, but when has it been great in Athol Loren? Carcassonne's nice, good. I think I've actually managed to keep pretty good control of the public order in this campaign. And this was my first Warhammer campaign on very hard, and I'm actually finding it not too hard, so I'm not sure what that means. Whether it may, I, Well, I'm doing well at the battles, I think. They are very close, though, so it's kind of a good... Kind of, a lot of them I could win or lose them, so it's kind of a good level for me, I think. Legendary might push it a bit too far in the unfair direction, where the enemy gets too many stat buffs and stupid stuff. Because I tried to make my campaign battles that I actually fight as fair as I can. I could just roll around the map with two stack armies against one stack and then just destroy them every time because I've got twice as many troops as them. But I don't want to do that because it's boring. To me, personally. Obviously, if I actually want to just take something quickly, then I'll roll two stacks on one and just take the place and not do the battle. But I don't want to fight any battles where I have a huge advantage. I'm definitely going to win. Saying that, I'm about to roll into one as I take this Dune Keep place of the scaling. And you know what? Actually, I think as we haven't fought a battle, or we haven't, we haven't fought that one battle just now, which wasn't great, we'll fight this one. And this one I'm definitely going to win, right? I've got twice as many troops, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. You tell me whether you find this entertaining. I'm kind of half doing this just to put another battle in the video, to be honest, because uh, it hasn't been the best episode for battles, let's be honest. That one battle wasn't really a battle. It was more of a slaughter. And this one is probably going to be much the same, but... We'll see if we can make it a decisive victory. There we go. That's how we'll make it interesting. We're going for the decisive victory. Which, to be honest, actually shouldn't be that hard. Because I've got all Treekin. And they've got nothing that can really hurt Treekin. So, yeah. Either way. Back to what I was saying about the difficulty. I think Legendary would be a bit too much. And would unbalance what I try to do. Because if I try to go for like a fair one-on-one -on -one fight with the AI. With a balanced army. They've probably got a bit of an unfair advantage because of the buffs. And yada, yada, yada. And I think... I think the Elves campaign is quite easy actually. I don't think it's the hardest of campaigns. The victory objective is really easy. I feel like you could win just by sitting in Athol Loren and just diplomatically making friends with everybody, getting loads of amber from all your military alliances, and then just upgrading the Oak of Ages and you're done. Which I guess is kind of the point of the Elves, right? They're not meant to really leave the forest, they're supposed to just stay there. And it's made very easy by the fact that you can get all the diplomatic relations bonuses and then you never really go to war with anyone because it's so easy to be friends with everyone around you. So yeah, from my experience with the campaign, it's been quite easy. I've enjoyed it though, I've definitely enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. The battles have been a little bit tougher, I've enjoyed getting to know the elves and their army and how they work. What do you people think? Have you played an elven campaign through? Did you find it hard? Did you find it easy? Let me know, I'm curious. Because I think Athol Loren's quite easy to defend because they all, all the places around there have really great garrisons. So any of those Athol Loren places, even if you have one or two of them, very easy to defend. So it means you can kind of run off and I've enjoyed going after the north. We're rampaging our way through the scaling, soon to be going through the Varg, and the entire northern hemisphere of the old world shall be ours. It will be a glorious day indeed, even if slightly out of whack with the elven lore, but hey, you know, whatever, this is total war, we can do what we want. Using my hawk riders here to get onto their cavalries. We should be able to pester and do a bit of damage to them and their lightly armoured horses. We'll split them up though, so they're not such easy targets for all those axes that are just flying towards their feathery faces. The rest of their army slowly moving up to my Treekin line of doom. And my reinforcing army with all its arrows is about to arrive. Who we're probably going to need quite soon. Get Thilvacus. Oh dear. A lot of uh, Warhounds running towards my archers by the looks of it. Get Thilvacus over there. He can bother them a little bit. Don't want those Chaos Warhounds causing too much trouble. Whittling down these Marauders quite easily. Armor, those are armor-piercing marauders that are coming towards us, so they are a little bit of a danger to my true kin, as armor-piercing can do quite well against them. But they're not anti-large or anything, so... They shouldn't really be able to handle true kin too well. But wild riders can take on everything around. There's some marauders charging towards them. We shall engage them, try to catch them while they're running towards us. They may run away, though, because they are faster than us. Warhounds coming in. We'll send the old Glade Lord on that. Don't want these skirmishers to get destroyed. They're not going to catch them. Oh, there's Warhounds coming around the back. Go get them, love. You should be able to handle them, Susan. Send good old Durthu in. Archers on them. They're going to pointlessly attack the tree in. Oh, they're coming around. They're flanking us a little bit. They're working the flanks. Sorting out these cavalry is okay, though. Going to get into melee with them a little bit. Might take them down a little bit quicker than the arrows do. My well, Wild Riders caught them, briefly. He's got to control these cavalries. Wild Riders are doing okay. 
keeping up with them. Oh dear, some of my skirmishers are in trouble. But most of the marauders are indeed running away. Surprise, surprise. So, as expected, this should be a pretty comfortable victory. Did you find this entertaining? Probably not. So, sorry about the battles in this one. Not the best battles in the world. But hey, it's just a quiet time for battles at the moment. Which is surprising, considering, you know, we invaded the north. And you expect, Jesus, it's going to be crazy. And then there's just no armies there. So, a little bit silly by the AI to not defend any of their homeland. But I guess they normally don't need to, because who the hell attacks the north? What kind of crazy maniac goes after the north? Ridiculous. We got that decisive victory, though. Although, you know, I think my nan could have got a decisive victory on that one. She's never played Total War before. Surprisingly. I think with that victory, we have acquired another province. Which means we can just leave it, and the public order will just be amazing. And it'll be awesome, we don't have to worry about it. And then we can get to work on the Varg. There's a couple more scaling places left. But they shall soon be destroyed. We can build something at Doom Keep. What's going to be the best option? I think maybe for now, a bit of extra garrison would be a good idea. In case the Varg come along. We can help defend it. Public order's not great in this place. Still a lot of corruption around. Still trying to bring that down. We've got to keep an eye on that. I'm probably expanding perhaps too quickly. I am expanding very quickly. We'll see how it goes. Delvicus in here. He's nice and safe from the attrition. Everything. No one down here? Everything should be good. Awesome. Okay, north. Still going nicely. Everything's been sorted. South. Still a lot of chaos around. Got to deal with them. Orion, still not in the best shape to deal with Hexus. Hopefully he doesn't attack this turn, and we can replenish. We've got a bunch of skill points, though. Susan Hart's got some. Reduce that corruption, love. We're going to need that. Catra, my good old branch wraith. There is a higher level vampire chaos corruption one. I think I'd like to go for that, so I'm going to add one more point into this section, which should open up the next section, I think. Awesome. Let us advance. Oh god. Oh god. We're doomed. Look at that favour bar. <laughs> oh. Actually, it's just mainly beaten up heroes they've got. I reckon there's hope. I'm gonna have a go, damn it. <laughs> 